What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. The confessions are back. Man, it's been a while since I've done reading my viewers' confessions, and I've decided to bring it back because, man, I really enjoy making those videos. So, right here, I have nine confessions that I have printed off from a Google form that I made. I'll link that in the description. And I want to see what my viewers are up to and what are their deepest, darkest secrets. Let's get into it. So the first confession, these are all anonymous. I used to, I can't say this word. I used to defecate in my backyard for fun. Huh? I mean, I mean at least you're pretty primal, man. You're primal for sure. You're definitely primal. Next confession. One time, I threw my hamster at a wall. Okay, number one, hamsters die pretty easily. Okay, I don't know if this hamster had did die um, from being slammed against the wall, but um, you know, I mean, I should, maybe I should call like what's the the ASPCA, the Animal Service Protecting Care Act, somebody. I should call somebody because you you a little. You're a little weird. And they even put crying laughing emojis at the end. You're a sick guy. Next confession. When I was younger, I used to eat leaves. I mean, that's not that bad, bro. That's really not that bad. I mean, on TikTok, have y'all seen those dudes who be like, you should drink chlorophyll? I mean, this is I mean, that guy's doing the same thing. He, instead, he's eating the, the chlorophyll. I mean, that's not even that bad, bro. That's not even that bad. It's not as bad as throwing your hamster at the wall or defecating in your backyard for fun. The next one. My darkest, most unfathomable secret is that I'm in love with my glorious king. He's such a little cutie, I just get so excited. Huh? Um. Yeah, man, I think some of y'all are just weird, bro. Like, like on some real, man, y'all just re weird. Um, this com community is weird. How do we go from pooping in the backyard for fun, throwing a hamster at a wall, eating leaves, to calling me a glorious king and being such a little cutie? This community is weird, bro. But I like it, though. That's good, though. It's a, it's a good community. It's a very good community. Okay, next confession, our fifth one. One day in 10th grade, I had explosive diarrhea and pooped myself in the middle of class. Hey, bro, it happens to the best of us, man. It really does. It happens to the best of us. Hopefully, you probably ate, like, too much Taco Bell or ate, like, a whole bag of Takis in the morning at 8 a.m. You're probably one of those types of people. But, yeah, man, it happens to the best of us. It really does. It really happens to the best of us. But I hope you did good on the test, though, for sure. All right, next confession. My confession is I let a girl come over, and we made out while I found out my girl cheated, so I got my get back. What does that say? NY booty call, New York booty call. Oh, he meant to say my. My, <laughs> he, <laughs> he, my boo. <laughs> okay. My booty call. Oh, he said meant to say bye. I said bye booty calling one of my female friends from unknown. So you, you got a girl to come over when you found out your girl was cheating and you booty called this one person to get your get back. Bro, that's not the way to do it, bro. If you found out your girl was cheating, I'm guessing you definitely a high schooler, most likely a freshman. Just by the way, just by the way you used your emojis, bro. Just by the way you used that emoji, bro. That emoji, that definite, you definitely a freshman in high school. You still got that middle schooler's mindset, bro. You, 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 you definitely a, a freshman. That's really not the way to do that, bro. You should just let that girl go. Let her go. Because at the end of the day, she's not worth it. She's not going to be in your life in the next five years. Just let her go, bro. Just let her go. Next confession. I was almost a homewrecker. Hashtag, I was off the perk 30s. I really don't like this community, bro. This community is just garbage. I mean, how do we, we went from throwing hamsters at a wall, eating leaves, calling me a cutie, booty calls in as a freshman, to being a home wrecker at age 14. <sighs> this is insane. Man, this, this, this is why I don't like this community, bro. I, I know I said I like the community before, but this community is low-key garbage. Like, how do we have such a diverse amount of people that do so many weird things? <sighs> oh. 
this is what I gotta build. This is this is the community I'm building, guys. I like it though. No, I why do I keep saying I don't like it and I like it? I'm building a community. If you like it or not. And it's okay, I guess. This is an okay community. Next c confession. I literally traded Twinkies for a half used vape. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. Get some help. You know, right when I say I like I'm starting to like the community, y'all just wanna do this. See, I don't really even, I don't even like Twinkies, number one. I hate Twinkies. The, the thing that just did it in for me was a vape. If you vape, <sighs> ah, if you vape, you stay away from me. Breathe air, all right? If you, if you vape, get away from me. Don't, don't talk to me. And our last confession for today, oh, this is a long one too. I'm so introverted nowadays because I can't jeopardize my future. Hanging out with all the thug wannabes and all those white boys who want to be ghetto so bad, but don't know the struggle like I do. All these negative people we got in our school really made me form a shell and keep to myself so much to where I can't really make friends with people I should, like you, who inspire me to do greatness. Screw it. Don't keep it anonymous. This is from Nate Claus. Hey, I know this dude, bro. Um, I've been friends with this guy since middle school. And, um, man, that, that hit right here, bro. That really hit me right here, man. That's really, that's really touching, bro. Um, number one thing I should say is, bro, if, if you feel that way, like, if people are always, if you stop, if, once you stop worrying about the people, you're going to stop bringing yourself down. Because once you start worrying about what other people say, what other people do, you're just bringing yourself down. You know, and you you even said all these neg negative people in in our school really made me a form a shell to keep to myself, to where I can't really make friends with people I should like you. I mean, you're obviously talking about me, but you mean I mean not only just me, but to other people as well. I Man, you should make friends with them. But see, you started worrying about what all these other people do, the negative people in where we go to school at, bro. Like, you should just separate yourself from them and really don't worry about what they do that's what i started doing i stopped worrying about a lot what a lot of people think and i've really just skyrocketed into who i am now you know and i'm really glad you know i inspire you you know what i'm saying i haven't talked to you in a minute but i mean i'm glad i inspire you though man but um yeah man that was a great way to end off the video um i'm definitely gonna reach out to this dude man but yeah that was a great way to end off this video you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride. Be with your boy Dime, man. And with that being said, God bless. Peace out. 100. Bah! Ha ha. Yes, sir. Dang, stop the video.